morning, friends, and welcome to Ramblin' with Red Yarn. Are y'all ready to get rambling? Well, good. Where do you think we should go today? Hmm, let's check our map. so glad you are all here to ramble with me this morning. How's everybody feeling today? Yeah? Can you show me on your thumbs? Are you feeling pretty good? Are you feeling really good? Are you feeling super duper excited to be together today? Yeah, me too. Uh, is anybody feeling kind of just so-so or kind of tired or grumpy this morning? Hey, it's okay to feel all those ways. But it's always good to know some ways to cheer yourself up and to have a little fun. So y'all want to have some fun together? Good. How much fun should we have? Like this much fun? More than that? Like this much fun? More than that? Like this much fun? More than that? Stretch out your arms and show me how much fun you want to have. You want to have that much fun? That is so much fun. I'm going to need your help if we're going to have that much fun. Who remembers? How do we have fun when old Red Yarn, that's me by the way, hello, and my creator friends come around. What do we like doing for fun? Yeah, first we love to sing. Put one finger up like this if you love singing like I do. Oh good. I hope you'll sing with me today. Let's warm up, warm up our singing voices. Take a big deep breath. And sing la 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 la. What beautiful singing. Put two fingers up like this if you like dancing too. Who likes to dance? Nice. Let's warm up our dance moves with a little wiggle in our seats. Good wiggling. Uh, raise one hand if you like animals. Oh, excellent, because I brought some critters with me today, and they can't wait to see you. And raise both your hands like this, and stick your tongue like this, and go, ah, if you want to get a little silly. Should we get a little silly? <laughs> Good. We'll get a little silly. We'll probably talk about some serious stuff, too, and then we'll get a little silly again. But y'all are really good at going back and forth between silly and serious, right? I know you are. <laughs> Great. Let's sing our good morning song, everybody. What kind of day is it where you live? Is it a sunny day, a cold day, a rainy day, a snowy day? What's it like? Today in Portland, Oregon, where I live, it's it's sunny, and but it's pretty cold, too. So let's sing this little song. Make a sun in front of you like this and try singing with me. The sun has come up, the rooster has crowed, and I'm wide awake from my head to my toes. My friends are all here, we're ready to play. Good morning to you, it's a beautiful day. <laughs> Yay, it is a beautiful day. Let's see who all's watching today. Oh, we've got Haven and Carl are here. They have their drums out. That's so cool, Haven and Carl. Um, Royal is here and ready for the show. Hi, Royal. Phoebe and Asher are here. Hey, Phoebe. Hey, Asher. Leaf and Finn have out magic wands, and they make a lot of stuff. That is so cool, Leaf and Finn. I've, got to show, I've gotten to show off some of the cool stuff y'all make at home. Mateo is glad to be here. Hey, Mateo. Um, Ava is here, and Emma's going to sneak down during snack. And they let me know that they read two books yesterday at bedtime about Martin Luther King Jr. That is so great because we're going to talk a little bit about MLK, and we're going to sing a song about him too. So I'm glad you, you prepared. Ollie is watching. Good morning, Ollie. Emma and Evie say hi. Hi, Emma and Evie. Mars is here. Hi, Mars. Max and Mabel are here and wanted to say hi, Red Yarn. And her mama wants to add, thank you so much for the special birthday show. Oh, yeah, that's right. I hope you all had a great birthday weekend, Max. I hope you had fun celebrating. 
Um, Eva's here. Hey, good morning, Eva. Cascadia is here. She says, hello, Red Yarn, and I am ready to ramble, and happy inauguration. Yeah, that's right. Tomorrow is the big presidential inauguration. Something else exciting coming up this week that we'll be talking a little bit about. And good morning from Lucas, Olivia, and Jackson. Hey, Lucas, Olivia, and Jackson. Benson and Naomi are here. Hey, Benson and Naomi. And Olivia is here. Hi, Olivia. If I didn't say hello to you yet, um, have your grown up, or if you can do it yourself, type your name into the comments, and I'll try to give you a little shout out at my next break, okay? Thanks so much for tuning in, everybody. I'm so glad to see you today. Sorry, it looks like this, I don't know if you're seeing this, but on my monitor, it looks like the video is like a little choppy today. My, my program's being a little glitchy, so I've, I apologize. Hopefully you can hear me okay, and hopefully it's not freezing up or anything. But I look a little bit like I'm stop motion animated today. I also had a problem, I just wanted to let you know, there were a few kids who submitted critter portraits. Um, let's see, Enid had one, Haven had one, and Sam had one. And I was just about to set up my slideshow, and it's not working this morning. So I'm gonna have to save those for Thursday, okay? So Haven, Enid, Sam, thanks for your critter portraits. I'm gonna have to save those for Thursday. Hopefully I can figure out how to get my slideshow working. I'm very sorry about that. Thanks for understanding. All right, friends, let's get started. Let's start today. We're talking about something and singing a song about something. Do you know what yesterday was? It was a very special day. What was yesterday? That's right. It was Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Did you talk with your family about who Martin Luther King Jr. is, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.? Or maybe you've learned at school a little bit about MLK or Dr. King, as we call him sometimes. Who was Martin Luther King Jr.? Yeah, that's right. He was an activist. He was a community organizer and leader. He was a preacher, and he was a very important figure in the civil rights movement of the 1950s and 60s. Have you talked about the civil rights movement? Do you know what that is? We've talked about it some on this show. It was a big movement that was especially active in the 1950s and 60s, but in many ways is still going on today. It was the movement to get equal rights for black people in the USA. And Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. did a lot of work. He was a big leader in that movement. He led marches, he gave great speeches, he traveled from community to community to help organize and teach and empower local communities to do their own activism. He met with important politicians like presidents, the president at the time, and he was a huge important leader in the civil rights movement, um, working to end segregation. That was, um, in the past, white people and black people were separated, were segregated, so like didn't go to the same schools, had to sit in different parts of restaurants and buses, had to use different drinking fountains. It was very unfair, and oftentimes black people were given much worse facilities and things to use, so weren't getting the same equal treatment as white people. So they worked to end segregation, and they worked very hard to get um, equal civil rights for black people and all people of color. So um, that work is still going on today. Do Dr. Martin Luther King was killed in the late 60s because at the time he was not a very popular figure. A lot of people um, were angry at what he was trying to do, even though it was the right thing and he was working toward change and justice. But the work that he uh, worked on so hard is still going on today. So we're gonna sing a song about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., okay? This is a song I learned from a folk singer named Brother Kirk. Brother Kirk uh, was a great black folk singer. Uh, he made an album with Sesame Street, with Big Bird, and with Pete Seeger, who is a white folk singer. And he sang this song on the record. It's called, it's called The Ballad of Martin Luther King. So I'm gonna share it with you. This is a song by Brother Kirk about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Here you go. See if you can get the hang of it. Maybe you can learn the, the chorus and sing it with me. I'll teach you the chorus first, okay? Here's how the chorus goes. I've been to the mountaintop. Today I have a dream. Don't you ever forget the words of Martin Luther King. Sing it again. I've been to the mountaintop. Today I have a dream. Don't you ever forget the words of Martin Luther King. Got a song to sing about 
about the life and legend of Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King was born to a sharecropper's son, and all the bigots hated him, but never owned a gun. of Martin Luther King. Hopefully yesterday you got to study and learn some of his words, some of the inspiring messages he said in his many, many speeches. Keep learning those words. There's a lot more to Martin Luther King than some people um, some people try to put out there. He he said for what that for the time what were a lot of radical ideas too, and that's what got a lot of people angry. Um, but many of the things he said um, are are still true today, and are things we're still working on and fighting for today. So keep on studying, keep on learning about Martin Luther King Jr. Not just on Martin Luther King Jr. Day, but every day of the year. And if you want some other good listening, I learned a cool story yesterday about the Stevie Wonder song "Happy Birthday." Do yourself a favor after the show and look up Happy Birthday by Stevie Wonder, who is an amazing soul and rock and roll singer. Um, Stevie Wonder wrote that song um, at the time where we didn't have a Martin Luther King Jr. Day, and there was an uh, effort going on in different states to make it a state holiday and then a national holiday. So Stevie Wonder, this great musician, keyboard player, singer, wrote this song called Happy Birthday for Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday, and that helped the movement that started Martin Luther King Jr. Day um, back in the 1980s, I think. So check out that song, too. It's a really good one. Well, friends, let's see if we got any more shout-outs right now. We've got um, Enid's watching. Hi, Enid. And sorry, again, I can't show off your picture today. Hopefully on Thursday. Colette is here, and they are also counting down till the inauguration tomorrow. Um, ooh, someone called Red Ghost says hi. Wow, that's so cool that someone called Red Ghost is watching today. How mysterious. And Harper and Millie say hello, too. Hi, Harper and Millie. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Um, let's check in on one of my critters. What do you say? Sound good? All right, good. Let's see who came along today. Oh, it's my friend Henrietta the Hen. I was hoping Henrietta might come today. Let's call her out in a big voice. Everybody say, come on out, Henrietta. Come on. Henrietta. Oh my goodness. Say hello, Henrietta. Hello, my friends. I am so glad to see you today. Happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day, one day late, and, and, and happy inauguration day coming up tomorrow. Well, thanks so much, Henrietta. Oh, what do you got there? What's your sign say today? My sign says Black Lives Matter. Have you stood up and said that before? Have you all stood up and said that or written that on a sign or put a sign out in front uh, of your house or, or marched in a march with a sign that says Black Lives Matter? Can we practice saying that today? Repeat after me. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Can you tell us a little bit about what that means, Henrietta? 
Well, sure, in many ways, the Black Lives Matter movement is a continuation of the work that Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. did in his time, the Civil Rights Movement. You see, in our country, in the USA, black people are still not being given the same rights and being treated equally and equitably as white people and other folks. So we still have to stand up and, and remind each other that black lives do matter. Now, we've talked about this a little bit before, Henrietta. By saying Black Lives Matter, that doesn't mean we're saying that other people don't matter. Oh, of course not. No, 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 no. Everyone matters. We know that. But still, until we can all say and really work and show that black lives matter, then, then we can't really say that all lives matter, right? So when there's a problem, we got to look at it and we got to be honest and we got to try to fix it. So that's why we stand up and say black lives matter. Well, thanks for telling us about that, and thanks for standing up for and saying that today, Henrietta. Of course, of course. Now, tomorrow something exciting happens. Do y'all know? Do you know what happens tomorrow? We talked about it a little bit already. It's Inauguration Day. That means we are going to get a new president, Joe Biden, and a new vice president, Kamala Harris. And we've talked about Kamala Harris on this show before because she is making history. She is going to be the first black woman and also the first um, Asia, uh, woman of Indian descent to, to be the vice president. Isn't that amazing? It is amazing. So there's signs of progress, but that doesn't mean our work is done. Would y'all stand up with me and keep on working? Can y'all stand up and get ready to keep on working? Good, let's practice. Everybody stand up. Put your fist in the air. Put your fist in the air. And repeat after me. Say, I will stand up. I will stand up. For what I believe in. For what I believe in. I will stand up. I will stand up. For justice for all. For justice for all. I will stand up. I will stand up. Against racism and hatred against racism and hatred. I will stand up. I will stand up. And do what is right. And do what is right. I sure hope y'all do. Keep on standing up. Keep on fighting for what you believe in. Rise up and cackle, y'all. Bye, Henrietta. Bye. Oh, I'm glad Henrietta could stop by today and give us that good reminder just because we're getting a new a new president just because uh, doesn't mean that the work is done we got to keep standing up for what we believe in we got to keep standing up for other people too um so let's practice let's sing this song about an activist chicken like henrietta let's sing old hen cackle do y'all remember this one good would you help me um here's what we'll do at the beginning we'll go the old hen she cackled then i'll sing something and then we'll say, next time she cackled, and I'll sing something else. The old hen she cackled, I'll say something. And next time she cackled, I'll say something else, okay? So you, you help me out with the old hen she cackled, and next time she cackled. If you want to stand up, stomp your foot, march in place, pump your arm like you're at a big uh, protest march, that's a good way to get in the spirit of this song, okay? On the count of four, old hen she cackled. One, two, three. Four. The old hen she cackled, she cackled in the barn. Next stop she cackled, she cackled in the lawn. Old hen she cackled, she cackled at the stable. Next stop she cackled, she cackled at the table. Old hen she cackled, she cackled in the loft. Next stop she cackled, she cackled in the trough. Old hen she cackled, she cackled in the stable. Next stop she cackled, we won't end up on the table. Alright, stomp your feet, clap your hands with me, y'all. Here we go, we'll go again. Old and she cackled, she cackled in the morning. Next time she cackled, she cackled out of warning. Old and she cackled, she cackled late at night. Next time she cackled, she cackled for rights. Old and she cackled, she cackled really quiet. Next time she cackled, she cackled up the riot. Old and she cackled, she cackled out loud. Next time she cackled, I'm a chicken and I'm proud. Y'all know how to take a chicken solo? Just flap your wings and make loud sounds like a chicken. Good 
Chicken solo. All right, kiddos. We're gonna practice standing up for what we believe in. So stand up straight. March in place if you want. Pump your fist in the air like that. All right, let's get serious. Here we go, y'all. All my little chickies, well, I want you to know. All my little chickies getting ready to go. All my little chickies, we're leaving tonight. All my little chickies gonna stand up and fight. All my little chickies, well, I want you to live. All my little chickies, well, I want you to give. Everything you got, all that you believe in. All my little chickies, it's time we gotta leave. y'all thanks so much for practicing today standing up for what you believe in i hope you can find ways to do that this week every week all through your long life okay keep on standing up for what's right keep on doing the right thing keep on fighting against hatred racism injustice all of that okay we need you we need you to be standing up and we need you to be doing this work so desperately right now so thank you thank you thank you all right, friends. Well, we've got a few more shout outs. We've got Hannah and Elizabeth here. Hi, Hannah and Elizabeth. Nice to see you, old pals. Hi, Cecilia. Thanks for tuning in. And we also have a morning from Kai and, uh, and Kian. Hi, Kai. Hi, Kian. Great to see you this morning. Thanks for tuning in, my friends. We are just about to see another critter. It's my old friend, Miss Molly Cottontail. Y'all know Miss Molly, right? She's one of our favorite friends here on Ramblin' with Red Yarn. She stops in most every week. So let's see what's going on with Miss Molly. Everybody say, come on out, Miss Molly. Come on out, Miss Molly. Oh, hey, everybody. It's me, Miss Molly Cottontail. Say hi, Miss Molly. Hi, friends. Thanks for coming today. Thanks for tuning in. I'm so glad to see you. We're glad to see you too, Miss Molly. How are you doing today, Miss Molly? Well, I'm doing okay, Red Yarn. Good. What's on your mind? Well, I was just thinking about something. I, I had a question for you. What's your question, Miss Molly? Well, sometimes I'm rambling with Red Yarn. We've been talking about serious stuff, sometimes even scary stuff, or stuff that's hard for kids to understand. And I was just wondering, do you want us to be serious all of the time? No, we've talked a little bit about it. Do you think we need to be serious all of the time? What do you think? No, I don't think we need to be serious all the time. But there's so much hard stuff going on in the world. It, doesn't it seem like maybe we shouldn't be silly and maybe we shouldn't have fun? Well, Miss Molly, I think quite the opposite. Sometimes to have the strength to stand up and do what's right, sometimes to have the strength to face the hard stuff in life, you got to also balance it out by having fun and finding joy and, and doing things that feed your spirit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so what feeds your spirit? What helps you find your joy and happiness? Ooh, I'd love to hear from y'all. What are some things that make you feel joyful and happy and, and that fill your spirit so that you can have the strength to stand up and do the hard stuff too? What about your family? Oh, I love spending time with my family. Family's a good one. What about our friends? Yeah, getting to connect with our friends. I know it's kind of hard to connect with our friends right now, but hopefully you're finding way, ways to keep, keep in touch, maybe over video or distanced visits, or maybe some of y'all get to go to a small little school with a few friends or something like that. 
Yeah, hopefully you ha are finding a way to connect with your friends. What else? I'm playing, playing games, getting exercise, dancing, singing, playing with toys, playing with pets. Those are just some of the things that bring me joy. And those are such good things, and those are such important things. So um, maybe we should sing a little song about trying to find that balance between finding your joy and, and but also standing up for what you believe in. Oh, that sounds like a great idea. Let's do it. And please do let us know where do you find your joy? What makes you happy? Put it in the comments if you can, okay? Mwah! Keep on finding your joy. Keep on filling your cup so you can keep on standing up for what's right. Bye, friends. Say bye, Miss Molly. Bye. All right, y'all. That's a good reminder from Miss Molly. You know, we got to find that balance, right? We got to find that balance between having fun, feeling joyful and happy, but also engaging in those hard conversations, doing what's right, um, looking out for other people and not just thinking about ourselves. So it's a lot, it's a lot to balance, but uh, I'd love to hear how y'all are striking that balance in your families. All right, here we go. We're gonna sing a song. We're gonna practice find, standing up for what we believe in, using our voices, but also finding our joy. This is a, a song I wrote. It's called Jump for Joy. Maybe you remember it. Uh, it's got a lot of jumping in it. So y'all ready to do some jumping? Good. Stand up and let's jump, okay? One, two, three, four, let's jump. joyful just moving my body jumping around like that how about you oh and hey I also forgot to mention you know sometimes doing the right thing standing up for what we believe in it can bring us joy too 
right? It's not maybe the same kind of joy as like sitting at home and playing a game with your friend, uh, with your family, but it's a different kind of joy, and it's a joy that you're connecting with community, and it's a joy that you're uh, you're standing up for something bigger than yourself. So, so uh, it's not like an either or kind of thing, right? But it is good to try to find that balance between serious and, and silly and, and, and joyful, um, but also determined, right? So I know y'all are good at that, and I know you're working on that at home. So thanks for working on that with me. Ooh, okay, we've got a few little ideas. Um, baby animals give Ollie joy. Baby animals are so joyful and cute. Oh my gosh, I love baby animals. Looking at pictures or seeing real baby animals, Ollie, also gives me joy. And it reminds me of the beauty of life and how precious all life is when you see a tiny little animal like that. That's a good one. And doing crafts. Um, Emma and Evie get joy out of doing crafts. That's a great thing, a great way to focus and do something with your hands and find joy. And sometimes if you make crafts and you, and you share them with someone you love or you do crafts, and you sell them to raise money for a good cause. Sometimes you can do, you know, do both things at once, right? So, let's see, let's sing another song, y'all. Um, because I couldn't get my critter portraits going today, we've got a little extra time. So I'm gonna do a bonus song. Does that sound good to you? Great, I'm gonna sing a song that was uh, popular and important during that time we were talking about, during the Civil Rights Movement. Uh, this was a song that was written by Pete Seeger. I told you about Brother Kirk at the beginning of the show, right? Pete Seeger was another folk singer, a white folk singer on that same record with Brother Kirk. And Pete Seeger is someone I've looked up for, to for a long time, his music and his messages. So we're gonna sing a song called If I Had a Hammer. This is another song about doing the hard work and keeping it up, okay? Some of y'all might know this. Can you pretend like you got a hammer in your hand? And can you pretend like you're, you're working really hard? And maybe you're not just building something, but maybe you're trying to build a better world, okay? If you know this one, you can sing along. If I had a hammer, I'd hammer in the morning, I'd hammer in the evening, all over this land. I'd hammer out danger, I'd hammer out a warning, I'd hammer out love between my brothers and my sisters. Oh. I'd sing it in the morning, I'd sing it in the evening, all over this land. I'd sing out danger, I'd sing out warning, I'd sing out love between my brothers and my sisters, all over this land. Ooh, well I've got a hammer, and I've got a bed. Another classic. Thank you so much for singing along. Let's see one last critter. What do you say? Oh, we got one more shout out before we see it. Oliver is watching today. Hi, Oliver. Hope I didn't miss anybody. I think I got everybody else who put their names in the shout outs. Thanks so much for being with me today. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. We're gonna see one last critter. Before I do that, I wanna put in a quick plug. Um, ah, no, no, never mind. We'll talk after I see my last critter, okay? Uh, let's see who else came along. Um, it's Thomas the Turtle. You want to call out Thomas the Turtle? All right. Let's call him out in a low and slow voice. Everybody say, come on out, Thomas. Come on out, Thomas. Here I come. Let me get 
just a minute. I'm fixing my tie. Oh, he's fixing his tie. Thomas always wears a nice collar and a tie, so he's just fixing it up. All right, come on, Thomas, come on. Here I come. Hello, friends. It's me, Thomas the Turtle. Say hi, Thomas. Hi, friends. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Thanks for, for thinking about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., the Civil Rights Movement, the Black Lives Matter Movement that's continuing today, the big, important inauguration we have coming up tomorrow. There is so much to think about. There's so much to learn about. Sometimes, doesn't it make your mind just race a million miles an hour? Yeah, it makes my mind race sometimes. Do you ever, when you think about all this big stuff, does it ever make your mind just whirr and your heart beat fast and just make you kind of excited and, and kind of nervous and give you just a lot of feelings you don't know what to do with? Yep, me too. So it's good to, to, to know some ways to calm your body down too. How do you calm your body down? When you're feeling like there's too much in your brain or, or, or you're, you're nervous or anxious or, or just got the jitters, what do you do to calm your body down? Deep breaths, maybe meditate, maybe take a walk outside, maybe sit and read for a while. Those are great. Let's practice breathing right now. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. My body feels more calm already. Can we sing one last sweet song? from the civil rights movement that's kind of a soft, slow, meditative song. Ooh, yeah, that sounds like a great way to end the show today, okay? All right, well, keep on finding your peace. Keep on finding your center, finding ways to calm down so you can get the energy you need to keep on doing the hard work. Bye, friends. Say bye, Thomas. Bye. Oh, good reminder, Thomas. Mo Molly reminded us that we got to keep on finding the joy as we're doing the hard work. And Thomas reminded us that we got to find, be able to find our center, to be able to kind of find our inner peace, to be able to find our calm, right? To give your, your brain and your body time to calm down and recharge. So let's sing a kind of soft and sweet song, y'all. This was another incredibly important song during the Civil Rights Movement. This song has roots in African American spiritual songs, um, in an old African American folk song called No More Auction Block. Um, but it too um, grew and changed over time and Pete Seeger and Zelfia Horton and many others kind of did their own part to write some new words to it. And this song was adopted as like an anthem of the Civil Rights Movement. It's called We Shall Overcome. If you want to sit down, sit up straight, do some deep breathing, or sit with someone you love, hold hands, or even stand up straight and practice marching and standing up for what you believe in. Whatever feels good to you right now, go for it, okay? Here's how the song goes. We shall
watching someone, ask them if they want to hold hands and walk side by side with you. Here we go. We'll walk hand in hand. We'll walk hand in hand. We'll walk hand in hand. Someday. Oh, deep in my heart. I Thanks for singing that with me, y'all. It was so good to be together today. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is such a big week with Martin Luther King Jr. Day yesterday. I hope you were able to do some reflection or maybe even some service in your community and with the big inauguration tomorrow. Um, there's a lot going on. I want y'all to be strong and be safe out there and keep on standing up for what you believe in. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If your family's in a position to donate, that's the only way I can keep these shows going. I so appreciate y'all's support. You can donate on Venmo, on Cash App, on PayPal, or you can donate on an ongoing basis on Patreon. Um, there's instructions on how to do that in the Facebook post or the YouTube post, whatever you're watching on, okay? So thank you for so much for all the donations today and all of your support. Thanks for staying connected. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for sending in Critter Portraits. I'm sorry that I couldn't show off the Critter Portraits today. Haven, Enid, and Sam. Hopefully I can get it going on Thursday. My program was being a little glitchy today, so I'm going to try to work that out for Thursday. We'll see what I can do. But keep the Critter Portraits coming in, the birthday dedications, um, and any other shout-outs you'd like me to do on the show. Thank you all for continuing to be in community with me and my critters and each other. This is such an important part of my week, and it makes me feel so connected um, to be able to do these shows for you. So thanks for continuing to to tune in and thanks for carrying on the the serious conversations that we have on this show thanks for carrying those on with your kids at home um it was great to be here with y'all today let's say see you later alligator can you get your chompers out and repeat after me here we go see you later alligator see you later alligator after a while crocodile after a while crocodile see you later alligator see you later alligator after a while, crocodile, after a while, crocodile, well, I really gotta go, well, I really gotta go. Give me one more pretty smile, give me one more pretty smile, cheese. How about a high five for good singing and dancing? How about a pat on the back for good listening and safe bodies? And how about a big hug for being such kind, sweet, compassionate people? Mm. Thank you. Thank you for standing up for what you believe in today and every day. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope to see you again on Thursday. Happy inauguration today, tomorrow. Be safe out there, be strong, and I'll see you soon. Bye, friends. <laughs>